hello good evening good morning good afternoon good night it depends where you are watching me from how are you all doing god bless you all in the name of jesus it's mean again your friend your sister holiness you are all blessed in jesus name hallelujah god bless you all in the powerful name of jesus god bless you in the name of jesus how are you all doing happy new week you are all blessed hallelujah children of god so today we are going to talk about obeying the word of god about obeying god almighty god bless you before we start let us pray heavenly father i thank you for all you have done today we should have met for us that you will be glad and rejoice in the name of jesus father thank you for all you have done thank you for the gift of life thank you for your mercy thank you for your blessing thank you for the preservation of life thank you for the gift of life that the above my head before you to say thank you jesus in any way in any manner we have sinned against you forgive us our sin forgive us our iniquity cancel our name the book of death write our name the book of life give us power to sin no more father as we are about to hear your word oh lord let us be the hearer and the doer of your word in the name of jesus father give us the appetite to obey your word to do things that please you in the name of jesus thank you father for answering my prayer in jesus name amen hallelujah children of zion god bless you all in the name of jesus please if you are there with me turn your bible with me in the book of mark mark 4 verse mark 4 verse 40 41 hallelujah mark 4 mark 4 verse 40 41 god bless you all as you do so verse 40 the bible said and he said unto them why are are you so fearful how is it that you have no faith my beloved brothers and sisters the bible is telling us in anything in any situation in any temptation in any trial in our life we should have faith in the lord jesus and the lord god almighty because with him all things are possible we should have faith in him no matter what you are passing through in life no matter the persecution no matter the affliction no matter the trial no matter the trouble please beloved brothers and sisters don't give up don't murmur don't complain don't cry hope on the lord god almighty put your trust in him he's able to do all things god bless you as you do so verse 41 the bible said and they fear exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him hallelujah beloved brothers and sisters we don't have to live a life that please us alone we don't have a, we don't have to live a life that please the world we don't have to live a life that please our family we should have we should live the life that please god we should obey the word of god we should obey his commandment we should have faith in him because with him all things are possible remember our lord jesus christ died for you and i in the cross of calvary he shared his precious blood for us he died after three days he resurrected again he said it is finished hope in the lord put your trust in him don't murmur don't complain just to obey his word obey his commandment if you say yes we we obey so yes if we say no we don't have to do we don't have to say yes when god say no who can say yes when god say no who can say no when god say yes no one there is no one like him let us obey the word of the lord let us obey god almighty let's hope on him we should not do things that please us alone beloved brothers and sisters so people do say, hey, it's my life. I can do whatsoever I, need, I want to do. No. You are not the owner of your life. Can you explain how, how you came to this world? Nobody knows how you came to this world. Suddenly, you see that you are in the world. Have hope on the Lord. Obey. Obey to God Almighty. The Bible says in the book of Mark 4, verse 41, He said, even the sea and the wind, obey lord jesus who are you not to obey him 
Who are you not to fear God? Who are you to live the life that pleases you alone? You forgot that God Almighty is watching you. Hallelujah. Please, beloved brothers and sisters, let, let us obey the word of God. Let us humble ourselves to him. Let us obey, obey everything we are doing in life. When someone tell you, I may be doing something that is not pleasing God. Maybe, I don't know. Someone may tell me, ah, sister, holiness, this thing you are doing, it's not pleasing God. Stop it. I will stop it if I love God. Except I don't care about God or I don't care about my soul. I will continue doing it. But if I care about my soul and I fear God, I, I want to obey his word, I will stop that thing that I'm doing. Beloved brothers and sisters, whatsoever you are doing, once someone tell you this thing, you are doing it. This is what the scriptures say about what you are doing. You stop it. People do say, I live my life the way I want it. You cannot live your life the way you want it. Who are you to live the life that pleases you? Are you the one that creates yourself? Are you the owner of your life? Do you know how you came to this world? Please, let us live the life that pleases God. Not the life that pleases us. Neither the world. You will see social media today. People are doing all manner of things that is not pleasing God. Someone will come out and let, leave her now, leave him now. Let, leave, let, let them live the life that please them. Let, us do, let them do the things that give them joy. Who are you? You remember the judgment day is coming. You remember that one day trumpet will sound. You forget that one day trumpet will sound. You forget that one day everybody will face the judgment of God. Beloved brothers and sisters. Let us amend our way. As you hear this word, I pray, we will be the hearer and the doer of the word of God. God bless you all. See you for my next video. Please follow me up on my uh, Facebook page, Holiness, my YouTube channel, Holiness TV. As you do so, God bless you. Love you all. See you all for my next video. You are all blessed. Have a wonderful day.